You're good. Okay, so we are going to now glue our mouse trap to the chassis, and we've made our marks. And the one thing to remember is that the front of your car, you want the rail sticking off the front because when it gets cocked back here, it needs to line up with the rear axle. All right, I'm gonna put one on at a time and I'm gonna use a glue gun. There's different types of adhesive that you can use, but this will dry super fast. And I'm just gonna put a little bit all across the top here. This glue gun is not cooperating, but there we go. Okay. And you gotta do this quickly because hot glue dries fast. Alright, so I've got my glue and I'm gonna line this up. Now the number one thing to remember is that the edge, the edge of the mouse trap needs to line up perfectly with the edge of the rail, the side of the rail here. Okay? I want that to be perfectly flush because otherwise my rails will be crooked. So I want the rail to be perfectly straight, not crooked. I want to make sure that this lines up, okay? Once I've done that, like I said, this stuff dries pretty quickly. So if I want to, I can put just a little bit of dab in the corner here. All right, and that'll give it a little bit of extra strength. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here. I think we need to get better glue guns next time, but that's fine. Alright, I got my hot glue here. Gonna line this up again, right on those pencil marks that I made. And then I'm also gonna make sure that this is lined up on the side. So that it's perfectly straight. Glue that guy on there. Okay, now these should be nice and straight. See, these are parallel. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here in the corner. Now I'm good. Last thing, I'm gonna I am gonna need some glue also to hold my bearings in here. So in our case, we're using a straw for bearings. And the size of these can vary, but we're just gonna put a couple of them on here. So I'm just cutting four little pieces. Oops. All right, so I have four pieces of straw that I can use for the bearings. This, these pieces of straw are going to go inside the holes that I drilled, okay? And in the front, it doesn't really matter how far they go in. I'm, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right here. And you don't want to touch it for too long on the straw because it'll melt it a little bit. So you just want to put a little dab of glue on here. It's enough so they're not going to move around, all right? Like side to side. Okay. There we go. Let that dry for a second. Do the same thing with this one. Okay. Now, and if you want to, you could actually go ahead and put your axle through here and then glue it, but it's fine. You don't have to. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue on each of these. Again, don't touch the straw with the hot glue gun because it will melt the straw. Make sure you get a little glue coming off of there. Glue that on. Okay, do that for all four of them, and then we'll be able to slide our axles through here. Boom, and then that'll help so they slide a little bit better. Okay.